new releases we have. Should have played the song already by now. The first, uh, oh, this is going to be good. The name of the song is Island's Eye. The group is called Pool Moon Elephant. And they are from Switzerland. And let's see if uh, we can see what we think of this. Island's Eye. Open your beautiful eyes. I don't know what to call this kind of music, and if you liked it, I'm glad. If you didn't, I'm sorry. But, you know, this is one of our new songs, and we have to play new songs. The next one we're going to play is uh, Bang Bang Baby by Leanna Floro. By Leanna Floro from Canada. Bang, bang, baby. We can do it if you want to. Do it all we gotta do is do it right. We can lose it if you want to. Lose it all we gotta do is lose the fight. I can't stop. I can't stop. Until it's done. I can't stop. I can't stop. Until it's done. 
Bang, Bang, Baby by Lino Foro. It's, and she, Lena is from Canada. Good job, Lena. All right, we're going to play a little music later, but first we're going back to the show. Discuss a little... Talk a little uh, politics and news. And whatever else we want to talk about. And if somebody calls up, maybe they'll have something interesting to talk about. Our number is 646-595-3275. You know, Felix, as I said at the top of the show, a lot of people complain about Obamacare. Okay. President Obama said, this is not perfect, but it covers many more people, etc., etc. He did say it needed work. And for seven years, <clears throat> neither the Democrats nor the Republicans did any work on it. Did any work on it. We knew that in 2017, it was going to be defunded, run out of money, the way it is. But... The Obama Repub- didn't no, care. He was leaving office. The Republican Party was so fixed on repeal and replace with their own program that they didn't bother to even think about saving it because that would have been giving Obama credit for something beyond his presidency. As it is now, Trump signs executive orders every day and all they're doing is taking away what Obama did, clean air, okay? Uh, (coughs) The fact that uh, they're starting to drill for coal again, you know? Um, Mine for coal. Yeah, that's true. Drill for oil. But... uh, You know, what kind of earth are we going to leave for our grandchildren, Felix? Well, first thing is, we don't know, you know, how much it's going to affect what he, what orders he gave. But go back to Obamacare. Utah has no insurance right now. Well, that I didn't know. What happened? They just ran out of money? Or they have no carrier. Nobody will insure them. Nobody will go into Utah. Why? Because there are a bunch of Mormons? Uh, for whatever reason, I guess there are, there are, there are, there are a lot of states that don't have carriers in there, in some of the in the, some of the counties. Or they have one carrier, and that person has a monopoly, can charge anything he wants. And they do. In Arizona. I yeah. know. Obamacare. And well, this is before, it wasn't repealed yet. Nothing was done to it yet. Because they can't repeal it until they replace it with something. Exactly. So this is Obamacare. <coughs> and well, you know, what, what do you do to fix it? I don't think anybody knows. Nobody is even trying to fix it. That's the biggest problem of all. Well, from day one, it was a poor plan. Well, it was... From the time he said, if you like your doctor, you could keep him. And then they rolled it out with a bunch of fanfare, and it was a fiasco. That I put on the Democrats, okay? I mean, look, I'll, I'll call it as I see it, and they did a terrible job, you know? And I couldn't keep my doctors, and I couldn't keep my plan. And you couldn't keep your brain. Don't forget. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's true, too. So, to me... Yeah. I discussed this when Obamacare first came out. I told Mark it's not a good plan. Did I not? Uh, Yes, you did. And I've been arguing with Mark ever since about it, and I still don't think it's a good plan. I'm not saying what the Republicans are coming out is any better. It's probably worse. And I've been saying the same thing that I have also for the last seven, well, as long as we're doing the show, which is by now a little over four years now, right? Is it four years? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Okay. It's not the end-all, be-all. It needs work. It has to be tweaked. And nobody uh, wants to do it. 
tweaked. It's got to be Such changed. As major. Allow, allow people to go from one state to the other and buy insurance. You know, let the people in Utah go to another state to purchase their insurance. Listen, the, the Democrats have seven years to to make some changes. The Republicans no. had seven years. Republican to, Democrats only had the two years when they had the House, the Senate, and the Presidency. Well, I'm not saying you didn't let me finish. You said seven years. They didn't have seven years. I know, but years. they were being blocked by the Republican for five years. Right. Just let me finish speaking before you correct me. Well, all right, so go ahead. That was it. That's because the Republicans had blinders on, and all they knew about was replacing Obamacare. Like I said, they didn't want to give him credit for anything. I mean, there were Republican senators who said, you know, with the governor of their state taking the... uh, the federal mandate or option, they were doing very well under Obamacare, their people. Yeah, because if, if, but in 2020, the government would stop, stop, stop subsidizing them. Twenty, We're not in 2020 And you said, what happens then when they don't get the money from the government That's anymore? That's why I said you work on it to make it better so that in 2020, you know, you'll see what happens. I don't know. We're not in 2020 yet. And, and it's already I don't, not, have, I don't have a crystal ball. Well, you could make one up. Well, I could also rub my head. Uh, that, Why don't you gaze into my head and see if you could find anything? Yeah. 